ladies and gentlemen, in this category, top producer household. From Capricorn District, we have Massimini France. Franz Massimini started his backyard garden in 2013. His focus was to advance food security for his immediate family. Massimini has planted cash crops and orchard on a small scale. One of the methods used to prevent soil erosion is through planting across the slope. Crawl manure is also used to improve soil structure and fertility. During harvest, vegetables are also donated to the needy such as the bereaved families, orphanage, drop-in and daycare centers. Kusukamupani district, we have Mulimani Mpau Adlina. Memelimani Mpau Adlina started her backyard farming in 2012, producing on a small scale to avoid buying vegetables from supply chain stores. Memelimani produces green beans on a 0.30 hectare, which is under a feral irrigation. The project donates green beans to the needy around the village, neighbors, and the local crutches and elderly persons. Memelimani is practicing organic farming by applying chicken manure and compost from crop residues that are plowed in after harvesting for both green beans and maize. Rafita's Kukuni District, Rahweja Shupatsila Disability Pigs Farming Cooperative. The cooperative started its piggery project in February of 2018 after receiving the pigs from the secondary cooperative that they were part of. The current scale of operation is 108 square meters. Sawdust is used to create a warm environment during cold seasons. Natural breeding is practiced since the project does not have the capacity for artificial insemination. The project has 22 pigs. Since the project started, 12 pigs were sold to a commercial farmer at 21 rand per kilogram. The pigs are packed in a comfortable way so that they are not stressed during deliveries. Ladies and gentlemen, in the Vembe district, Rowanabu Tondani Ndibuo Reward. Tondani Ndibuo Reward realized that buying meat and vegetables from the retailers was costing him more money. He then opted to establish a backyard garden. The garden is situated in the middle of his village where local villagers also get fresh vegetables closely. He started within a quarter hectare at the back of his home, planting only tomatoes and now he is planting on a one hectare area with different crops. Wundiwoi has enough water supply that helps him with irrigation and he can be able to produce enough vegetables for the home consumption and sell surplus. From the Waterbag district, we have Maputi TS Sibeta. The project started in January 2015 and managed to expand the garden to grow spinach, cabbage, beetroot, onions, carrots and butternut on a 0.35 hectare. Maputi donates vegetables to orphans, elderly and disabled individuals. Maputi uses compost and crawl manure for soil fertility. Crop rotation is beneficial to the backyard due to the chemicals that are applied as a supplementary method of biological control of inter and crop rotation.